uh, today uh, here I'm uh, going to describe you that uh, after uh, installing the Mac OS 10 Sierra or uh, if you uh, update uh, the OS uh, for example that here uh, click on the Apple logo and uh, about this Mac click on it and here you will find that Mac OS Sierra and this is the version number is 10.12.3 but uh, the actual purpose of my video is that uh, uh, there is uh, many comments or requests or uh, questions about that after uh, the object uh, the Mac OS 10 will not boot or the display or the graphics driver uh, will not load so here uh, I'm uh, going to uh, show you how to uh, fix it uh, if you need to just uh, update the operating system then uh, just uh, go on your uh, plus uh, app store and uh, uh, update it update it and after the update uh, you click uh, restart and when in restart then uh, most probably the sound card or the graphics card will not work as well uh, so uh, the quartz type graphics uh, how you can uh, apply to your PC so it's an easy process guys uh, to do that we just need to open the clover configurator after having uh, on the clover configurator and uh, here you will get it that mount partition click on the open partition and go to your EFI clover and open the config dot placed file so after having uh, when you uh, open it uh, just uh, look around here it's what's uh, it. If you uh, need uh, quartz type graphics, uh, actually here I am using uh, a laptop Core i5, which uh, means this is an Intel PC. Uh, also, uh, you can install the kits for uh, the Haswell, uh, but uh, here. I'm going a laptop uh, of Dell and uh, for that uh, I'm showing you that uh, how to uh, do the job here okay fine there's a uh, uh, have a just scheduled look uh, here just uh, watch it here here is a description here for you to do how to do it okay so here is the number one point that go to kernel and text patches and write Apple Intel Broadwell graphics frame buffer and uh, you have to find this value and replace value with this and if you are using a laptop uh, de sorry uh, desktop then you need 
to also enable your UPS and uh, don't forget it you must uh, mention the IG platform ID okay so go to the graphics section Go to the graphics and here you have to do that inject EDID okay so uh, if you uh, have an internal graphics card or integrated graphics card and an external graphics card like NVIDIA uh, uh, you may uh, enable the dual link uh, you are using the two graphics curve and the default value will must be one but uh, it's uh, okay that's uh, uh, it's not selected here and but here the ID platform ID this field you just you must need to do that to fill up with this value and here the uh, in clover that uh, clover has uh, provided some values for different type of system definition or or your model of your PC like Haswell desktop Broadwell and in my case uh, this is one six two six triple zero six advice for HD five thousand and three hundred five thousand and five hundred and 6000 mobile like macbook air 7.2 or macbook pro retina so click here the load v bios that means the virtual bios um, if you want to uh, virtual bios and click here inject in gel and if you want to do uh, the dual graphics card then you must select inject nvidia to, uh, to enable the external graphics card you need to do another thing that you have to click on the uh, system parameter and here click kick injected cat yes and inject system id and click just here in video web and that is okay but what if you want to activate your integrated graphics card you have to do a trick here which is called the sm bios so according to your system definition just click on the word button and select just like iMac, MacBook Pro, or MacBook here. So in my case, it's a MacBook Pro uh, 12.1. This is a Broadwell PC. And just click here the shake, shake, and right click here. Okay. And on the okay but the most important thing is uh, you have to go to the kernel and get it patches and after uh, going to kernel and get it patches uh, just select the kernel pm if you have a, uh, have a haswell processor you can click the haswell ie uh, may also use the asus aic pm okay so You just need to click here and click on the plus button and type it uh, Apple Intel 
Corel Graphics Frame Buffer. After that, copy this and find the hexa value and replace this with this. Okay, and the comment section you may. Uh, just uh, write it uh, that QCI it's not an important factor so guys uh, that's all after just doing it uh, click on save as I have already said so I don't introduce it again save and uh, what you just need to do here just restart your PC and you will find up that's uh, all is uh, okay